The Yorick Book and Paper Fair has been going on for a long time. It's in its 24th year. In a lot of ways, it's like the Yorick Emporium. I mean, it has been one of York's best kept secrets. It has been going on, as I say, it's in its 24th year. Uh, the, the one that's coming up in a couple weeks is going to be the 48th version of it. It's always been at the fairgrounds. It's almost always been at Old Main. It, it gets, it attracts 40, 50, 60 individual book dealers and hundreds if not thousands of people come to it every year uh, this year we're changing a little bit we've got um, we've got new kinds of dealers coming in we've got comic dealers coming this is rogue territory the last place on earth the sentinels would expect a mutant especially an x-man to be which is why wolverine chose it i wish he'd make his entrance though everything looks peaceful enough but it feels, hey, a trapdoor! No, this can't be happening now. Not when we're so close. Not with so much depending on us. Uh, we've got record to dealers coming. We've got writers coming. We've got comic... Uh, artists coming, the guys who draw for DC and Marvel, and they're coming. But we've also got people who deal in political items, for example, uh, campaign buttons and posters. We've got uh, people who deal in rock and roll memorabilia. We've got postcard dealers coming. We have military dealers coming, uh, in addition to rare and collectible books. In this book, I am seeking, so far as possible, to suppress my own views and to act simply as a mouthpiece of a Tibetan sage of whom I was a recognized disciple. He was quite willing that I should have made known his... Almost everyday kinds of books. And it's going to be the whole gamut of things, and it's just going to be a fun day. And then the auction. The auction starts at 5.30 in the afternoon. Uh, we'll probably have around 400 lots, and it's going to be a whole range of things. One of the guys who was bringing stuff in was here this morning, and he was telling me one of his lots, for example, is going to be a grouping of 150 um, science fiction paperbacks from the 50s and 60s, a kind with the really neat, fun graphics on the cover, but they're just fun to read. From that to signed first editions to rare and antiquarian books, we have the, uh, an autograph of Hank Williams Sr., not Junior, Hank Williams Sr. with his band on a program from the Grand Old Opry. It's going to be a whole range of different kinds of things for people to just come and see. The York Book and Paper Fair, it's on Saturday, October 25, uh, at Old Main, which is one of the buildings in the fairgrounds, of course, the York Expo Center. Uh, and it starts at 9 in the morning, and it runs from 9 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon with all the exhibitor tables. That's when all the, the, the browsing and the haggling goes on. Uh, and then at 5.30 we start with the auction. I just love this stuff. And it, when you sell it, it's like part of me almost wants to reach out and grab it and say, No, no, that's mine. You can't have that one. I just, I hate to let some of this stuff go.